Rainbird put a lot of upgraded features in the 5004 PLFCS RSS. In this video, we're going to cover some of the features, and we'll show you how to change out a nozzle and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. The 5000 series of rotors by Rainbird is a very popular set of rotors. And this particular rotor, the 5004 PLFCS RSS, is one of the ones with the most upgraded features in the whole line. And the most obvious feature of this rotor is the stainless steel riser, which is designed to give the rotor a longer life, standing up to tougher soils and difficult weather conditions. This rotor has a sealomatic check valve. Having a check valve prevents low head drainage. If there's a significant slope within a zone, when the sprinklers shut off, water in that zone's pipes often drain out of the lowest head. This creates puddling and erosion. Check valves help to prevent this. Sealomatic check valves in the 5000 rotor series work with up to 7 feet of elevation change. This rotor is pressure regulated. Pressure regulation prevents misting caused by having too high of water pressure in your system. When misting occurs, much of the water coming out of the spray head gets carried off by the wind or evaporates before reaching your plant's roots, which costs you money. So, pressure regulation provides the optimum pressure for the nozzle, which prevents misting and provides even pressure between the heads for more consistent watering coverage for your entire lawn. This rotor also has flow shutoff capability, which allows you to shut off the flow of water to the head even while the system's still in operation. So you can change out a nozzle without turning off the system, or you can work on the next head over without getting wet. This is a four inch pop-up rotor with a full circle non-reversing pattern. That is, it rotates 360 degrees all the time. You cannot adjust the pattern. There's a matching rotor with an adjustable arc. It's the 5004 PL PCS RSS. You'd use the adjustable arc model for the edges and corners of your yard and the full circle for the center areas of your yard. The inlet on this rotor is three quarter inch. That's pretty standard for residential rotors. The 5000 series of rotors are known for their longevity. Rainbird rotors have the longest operating life cycle of any rotor on the market. 5000 series are also known for their enhanced rain curtain nozzles, which make for very even spray over their entire distance and make larger water droplets for greater wind resistance. So more water makes it to your plant's roots. The rotor has a watering distance of 25 to 50 feet. The distance will depend on which nozzle is installed and how the adjustment screw is set. To make adjustments, you'll use a rainbow tool just like this one, or you can use a small flathead screwdriver. So here on the top of the rotor, this is your radius adjustment slot, the raised area. That sets your watering distance. Over here is the pull-up slot. Over here, this is the arc adjustment slot, but on this particular rotor, it doesn't do anything because this one always turns 360 degrees. And right in the center is the flow shutoff slot where you turn off the water to the head. Let's go work on one of these that's already been installed. There's two basic ways to access the nozzle while the rotor's in the ground. One method is to pull up the riser by inserting a rainbird tool into the pull-up slot. You can use a hold-up nozzle and stall collar to make it easier, or you can hold up the riser with your hand. Since this rotor has flow stop, another way to access the nozzle is to turn on the zone and shut off the water to the head using the flow stop slot. The riser stays in the up position, which makes it easier to work on. Whichever method you choose, you'll need to back out the radius adjustment screw. Once it's out of the way of the nozzle, pull out the nozzle with a pair of needle nose pliers or pry it out with a flathead screwdriver. Insert the new nozzle and screw back down the radius adjustment screw. Don't try to tighten the screw, you're just getting it down in front of the nozzle to hold it in place. Now start the water either by turning on the zone or by using the flow shutoff slot. Use the radius adjustment screw to set your watering distance. The spray from this rotor should reach the next rotor over. You're gonna love working with this rotor. They'll give you years of reliable service. Order your Rainbird rotors today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.